Yo, what is going on guys? Welcome back to another video where I'm gonna show you how to become rich in Grovetopia. If you want me to make more of these types of profit method videos, make sure to like and subscribe. This method is gonna be a bit different. We usually do lazy mass where we splice the seeds and then sell the blocks for which you need a harvester of sorrows and a bunch of other items. So usually for my profit methods, you need about 4 to 12 diamond locks to actually do them. But this one, you only need a little over 25 wood locks to start. And it's actually a pretty good one, probably one of the best ones for beginners. And also the one that I would recommend. Make sure to watch the full video so you know what you have to do and the best and fastest way to do each step. So today we're going to be making profit with paint buckets. Now usually people profit with paint buckets by just buying the seeds or splicing and making paint bucket trees and then selling the paint buckets after harvesting. But for us we're going to buy paint and turn it into seeds because if you didn't know paint is a consumable that drops seeds which means it can be farmed. All of the items you're gonna need are firstly a paintbrush and it will cost you about 17 road locks and also you need a hundred backgrounds on which you will farm the paint. I will explain why later. Make sure that you can easily see the difference between the painted background and when it's not painted. For example don't use cave backgrounds because you can barely tell the difference. After having those two things, you will want to buy paint buckets in colors. So any type of paint bucket except for varnish for as cheap as you can. Most likely you're gonna find the cheapest one to be yellow or aqua paint buckets. And you will want to buy them for about 25 per wood lock. And then you will want to find the paint bucket called varnish. And get the same amount of varnish paint buckets as you have for the colored paint buckets. And you will want to buy them for about 30 per wood lock. And after getting the same amount of colored and varnished paint buckets. Now is where I can tell you why you need the 100 background blocks. So you will place down one full row of the 100 background blocks. I chose fish tanks for particularly no reason except for that I had them in my inventory and make sure it's noticeable when it's painted. Now after you place down all of your backgrounds you will take your paint and equip your paintbrush and then start forming the paint like this. So you will use the paint by placing it behind you for the whole row in color and you don't need to collect all of the gems and seeds now that are dropping just leave them dropped. And on the way back you will want to use your varnish paint buckets to remove all of the colors. Also make sure that now you collect the gems and seeds that fell when coloring the block. So then just go left to right until you run out of paint and only have seeds left. So now let's see how much you make for one hour of farming. I did some runs and for me it takes about one and a half minute to go 100 paints up and 100 varnished paints back which means in one hour I can do about 40 runs up and down and times that by 100 and by 2 which means I can go through 4000 colored paint buckets and 4000 varnished paint buckets in a single hour. Now let's see how much that costs, so 4000 colored paint buckets, if you buy them for 25 per wood lock, will cost you about 160 wood locks, and 4000 varnished paint buckets, if you buy them for 30 per wood lock, will cost you about 133 wood locks, so together it will be about 293 wood locks. And for every 400 paint buckets you use, you get about 110 seeds, give or take a couple. So by using the 4,000 of which is 8,000 uh, paint buckets altogether, you will get about 2,200 paint bucket seeds, which you can sell for 6 per roadlock. So you get about 367 roadlocks. And also from using 8,000 paint buckets, you get about 2,000. 20,000 gems which you can sell for about 16 wood locks if you buy some grow sprays. 
So in total we spent 293 word locks and we got back 383 word locks. So we made a clean 90 word locks profit in one hour which is great if you're just starting out. The prices are pretty stable and for me it was pretty easy to find one buyer that will always buy my the whole stock of my seeds for 6 per word lock. You can buy the paint buckets in the discord server and I didn't try to buy them in buy plus worlds but maybe one of them has a bulletin board so go check them out if you're having trouble finding them in discord servers. And also for selling legit just go to the discord if you want to do this often find one buyer that needs a lot of stock and sell it to them every time you farm because it's a lot easier. This is definitely a great method for beginners which I recommend it's pretty good. Make sure to like and subscribe, also comment Merry Christmas if you made it this far. Go check out my last video, I'm gonna have it on screen and I'll see you in the next one.